the baseball card mayhem. When cards go wild. It was a sunny Saturday morning and 12-year-old Sam was excited to go to the weekly baseball card showdown with his friends at the local comic book store. He had been collecting cards religiously for years and had amassed an impressive collection featuring over one zero unique cards. As he rummaged through his boxes to pick out his cards to bring to the showdown, something felt strange. His cards were glowing faintly and seemed to be pulsating with energy. Weird, thought Sam, must be a trick of the light. He shoved a handful of cards into his backpack and headed to the shop. Upon arrival, his friends Bobby, Jake and Emily were already seated at a large table with their cards spread out, preparing to trade and battle. All right guys, let's get this show on the road, said Bobby excitedly. As Sam emptied his backpack, his friends stared in shock. Dude, your cards are glowing, exclaimed Emily. No way, must be your imagination, replied Sam nervously. But sure enough, as he fanned through his collection, a faint aura was emanating from each card. All of a sudden, Babe Ruth himself seemed to step off one of Sam's cards and into 3D living color. What's going on here? Where am I? Boom the great Babe. The others gasped in horror and amazement. Within moments, all of their tables were filled with legendary baseball players that had magically come to life from their respective trading cards. This can't be happening, said Jake, clutching his head in confusion and fright. Babe Ruth surveyed the shocked kids and said kids. It seems some magic has caused all of us cards to become animated. While this may be exciting, we'll need to find a way to reverse this before things get out of hand. Being the heroic baseball icons that they were, the players devised a cunning plan. Alright men, here's what we'll do. We'll have an epic all-out baseball game here in the shop to determine the rightful champions. Then maybe the magic will see that we've had our fun and return us to card form, said Babe. All agreed it was worth a shot. I call Babe, Ruth, Hank Aaron and Willie Mays for my team, declared Sam, now over his initial shock and giddy at the scenario unfolding. The kids scrambled to select players to even out the rosters. With the team set, the game commenced an explosion of bats meeting balls. The action was fast and furious, as superstar sluggers launched moonshots all over the crammed comic shop. Collectibles and merchandise flew every which way as the players ran bases with furious abandon. Outside, a crowd had gathered, drawn by the chaos within. Peering through the windows, they witnessed the impossible. Baseball legends transformed into flesh and blood, playing the game of their lives. Inside, a kid could be seen with a Dusty Rhodes card. Dusty, knock it out of here, he urged. Rhodes wound up and absolutely blasted one, shattering the front window in a shower of glass. The crowd who'd and out of order was disintegrating. The players were having too much fun to consider reversing the magic. This was spiraling out of control. Just then, a glowing portal materialized in the middle of the shop. What in Sam Hill? Cried Ty Cobb Babe Ruth, I'm Commissioner Bud Sellin. We've got a Game 7 of the World Series starting in 5 minutes that you all need to be a part of. Your cards seem to have caused a magical slip in the fabric of space-time and you're all needed back in the game. Get your dusted keisters in here pronto before you wreck this timeline. Through the portal, the sounds of a roaring stadium crowd could be faintly heard. The players knew they were needed. One by one they solemnly said their goodbyes to the stunt kids and baseball fans that had gathered. Thanks for the fun, kid. You holler if you ever need old babe for another exhibition. With that, Ruth tipped his cap and leapt through the portal. In a flash of light, the portal closed, returning the shop to its customary cluttered interior. The kids just stood there, trying to process what they had just witnessed. WW. Well, I guess the baseball card mayhem is over stammered Sam. His friends just nodded, to blown away for words. Sam slid open a drawer in his backpack and peeked inside. His cards were back to normal, inert and stacked neatly as they had been that morning. He sighed in relief. His friends did the same with their collections, confirming all players had indeed returned to card form. The magic was over, for now. As the kids cleaned up the shop, they all silently wondered, 
could such an amazing scenario ever repeat. Only time, and one's baseball card collection, would tell. Because you just never know when the baseball card mayhem might strike again. Thanks for being a part of this awesome card collecting community. Don't forget to subscribe and never miss